Hey everyone, it's Alessandro Brooks from Home Chef Seattle. Today I'm sharing with you guys a recipe for some puffed up tapioca pearl crackers. We're gonna be making three different versions, a squid ink twill, a turmeric curry version, as well as a beet powder cracker. These are great crackers on their own. I also like serving them with beef tartare, salmon tartare, or some ceviche, for example. They also make for a great garnish. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. In a medium-sized saucepan, add half cup of tapioca pearls. And two and a half cups of water. Heat it up over medium heat and bring it to a simmer. The mixture will thicken as it heats up. If it gets too thick, you can add a little more water. Stir it as it cooks. The tapioca is done when most of the pearls are translucent in color. Drain and rinse the tapioca under cold running water to remove the loose starch around the pearls. I'm dividing the pearls in three different containers. For the first version, I'm using some squid ink about half teaspoon for the amount of pearls I have. Mix it until well incorporated. For the second cracker, I'm using turmeric and curry powder. You can use different kinds of spices for flavor and heat. For the last version, I'm using some beet powder. Next, line some baking trays with parchment paper or silicone mats and spread the tapioca onto a thin layer. Place the trays in a preheated oven at 175 Fahrenheit, 80 Celsius, and dehydrate the tapioca until completely dry, about 2 to 3 hours. Break the dry tapioca into pieces. Oh, 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 oh,
Heat up some vegetable oil to 375 Fahrenheit, 190 Celsius. Then fry the crackers. They'll puff up and expand and are ready in just seconds. Drain the crackers over paper towel and sprinkle with some salt. And the crackers are done. These are great when you need to add crunch to a dish and they make for an amazing garnish. I hope you guys have enjoyed the recipe, please don't forget to like it, leave a comment and subscribe for more recipes to come. Thank you for watching.